It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. What the hell? Shoot that, some bitch! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Spread out, goddammit! They're Garrett, coming from his the army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. Hey, we have one behind us! Murder! Stay on it! Cover fire! As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Watch your flank! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. But their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside, be dead, you none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave, and upstairs I found Billy and Get Charlie in a Bolton. Rat in a trap. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Kill him for 
Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us home. like flies, but they just Where kept the on coming. That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Discretion is the better part of that. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the farm. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, all of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. Stepped inside 
and <gasps> last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. <laughs>